Yes, people still have CD players. I thought about uh, getting uh, something that's more technologically advanced than a CD player. Maybe I will someday, but... Because uh, I don't really see the... I don't have really have the need for it right now to have anything uh, fancier than a CD player because I have a lot of CDs. I'm sure a lot of people have, have a lot of CDs, but I, I just don't see the point in getting anything else because I, I like listening to the CDs that I have and I like... Um, well, the main reason why I got this new CD player was because, well, I had one before, but uh, it broke, so that made me mad. But the reason why I have a CD player is because uh, from biking to work, uh, I always, I thought it was nice how I could listen to music on the way to work, because sometimes it takes a while to get to work, so it's nice to pass the time with music on the way to work and then on the way to home, and then... Uh, other than listening to CDs, it's nice having a CD player for going, when I go to the library, uh, I like getting uh, audiobooks or audio lectures, like educational stuff, like on different kind of like history or, well, there's a lot of different ones that are available at the library, but history are the mainly ones, mainly the ones that I've been getting. It's nice getting some education too, rather than just listening to music. But so this is my CD player. It's kind of nice and fancy, nice and round. Uh, it's called Smart Tip. This comes in this nice box. So it has this thing on the back that you, you flip, it's kind of hard to see, there it is. This right here, you flip and it um, it's a hold function so that um, just in, in, in case you bump any of the buttons, it holds uh, what, whatever you have going on. So whenever whenever I start it, so there's the power button right there. There's the power button. I always um, flip that just in case something gets bumped. I don't want to mess around with whatever I'm listening to. So it holds um, whatever function your your play. It it holds the the play whatever you're playing. Uh, and I always I've been using repeat a lot. So there's a repeat up there. Um, well, you can either repeat all, or you can repeat um, one track at a time, over and over, listen to the same thing over and over, but I don't know why anyone would ever want to listen to the same song over and over, but I usually, I push this until it gets to repeat all, so that it'll just, when it gets to the end of the CD, it'll start it over and play again. It has uh, anti-shock protection on it, and there's the back button and the forward button, or you could fast forward it, or rewind it. Uh, volume, and that's play and pause, stop. Um, oh, I think EQ, I think that stands for equalizer maybe? But it um, it goes through uh, different things with the audio where what, depending on what you're listening to it it uh, makes it sound better like there's pop and jazz, rock, classic, BBS. I'm not sure what that is. I thought there was a live one on here. I guess that's rock, but I don't usually use that. A, B, I'm not sure what that is. I don't know what that is. But that's, that's pretty much it with this. 
It's a pretty nice CD player. I've had it for, I guess, over a year, maybe a year and a half. I haven't had um, too many problems with it. Sometimes it says no disc or like a disc error, and I just open it up and um, kind of clean off the lens a little bit, and then it starts playing again. Sometimes it, it doesn't work as well, like if you're outside in the cold for a long time. Other than that, it's a pretty nice CD player.